Ah, uh, Dragon Ball Z Universe 2 DLC 11, which is going to be called the Legendary Pack 1 with that fight gun and, and Topo. First, we are informed that we are getting PyCon for DLC 11 and also what type of moves you'll be having as well. Then, we're also getting another CEC mascot, which is Chanel, but the fat version. Then, we also inform you're getting more Dragon Ball Super outfits, which is Genie and um, Bardock's clothes for Dragon Ball Super, bro. Like, then, we're also informed that we're getting God of Destruction Topo as another DLC death with all, with all of his um, Hakai moves that he did in, in the um, anime. And, of course, it's Justice Flash. Then, we're also informed we're getting more Janema variants, color variants, of course. And then, we're also informed that we're getting more, more Hero Coliseum figures with God of Destruction Topo, PyCon, Janema... Future Re Reborn Gogeta and also Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. Then we're also informed we're getting another extra mission that involves Fu, Topo, and also Xeno Trunks with Pycon versing, versing um, a ton of Janemba's. Then we're also informed we're getting Fu costume. Then we're informed we're getting more, more Lotus Strange Trunks, Piccolo Tien, Goku, and Ooh! Then the, the, the website to inform us that DLC 11 is coming now. But for some reason, the update side of this of this page, information page, did not get updated yet. I don't know why, because it's coming out next week. Are we getting a little bit more? Like, what's taking forever? But it doesn't really matter, because in the Dragon Ball Gaming World Tool Battle Online Arena, they show two new Lotus screens, and it also says DLC 11 coming out this spring, which is next week. And now, now, and now. They finally dropped a trailer for Dragon Ball Z Universe 2 Legendary Pack 1 Fire and Destruction, which is DLC 11, that shows more info about what's coming to the DLC. And as you see here now, and, it, and also at the end of the trailer, it shows um, the date, the date um, when this DLC comes out. And, and of course, when they, give, when they give us a trailer for Dragon Universe 2, you, you know the DLC finna come out baby, very soon. They always give the they always give, the, give us the release date, like legit when it's finna come out. And and then at the end of the trailer, you'll see when it's coming out. And as you can see here, we got we got Topo, we got Pike, and we got we got Vegeta in the building. Oh, we're finna get the legendary scene. Oh, they got Ezekiel Trunks trying to help his father, but his father says no. And with the power of um, with the power of his family and his Saiyan pride, with with um with um also what he said in anime about um. Kaba, 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 Kaba rep represents all the other Saiyans as well, so you know, you got family and you have the Saiyans and his and his promise. And then after that, we also got, ooh, this, this right, this right, this is the cliffhanger. The cliffhanger, oh, watch this, watch this, watch this. Trunks, Trunks, look at he's done for. Trunks like, Trunks like, bam, bitch, oh, 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 oh. Yo, who did that? Yo, who did that? Oh, who did that? Who, 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 who is that? Go, 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 on. That's go, future go on? That, do, do Mother Brown, you know, do not miss up the time, you know. And then it says the update. I don't know why I said, I hate when it says free update. It comes out Wednesday the 16th, March 2021. And the actual DLC pack, you have, to, you have to buy, you have to buy DLC. Come on now. You have to buy DLC, which comes out Thursday, March 18, 2021, which is, which is coming out soon. I bet y'all like, I bet y'all like, hey, yo, DBS Club, that ain't right. March 16th, it's like a Tuesday. Tuesday, you must, and you're right, it must be a Tuesday. Like, people came to me and said, um, the DLC, the, the, no, not DLC, the update doesn't come out on the Tuesday. It's, I mean, don't, don't come out on the Wednesday, come out on the Tuesday. Bandit got it wrong and stuff like that. I'm like, oh, yeah, oh, shoot, you're right. So let me go, let me tweet this out to Bandai and tell them they got this wrong. And guess what? I took this out, and then a day later, they came out and said, oh, wait, sorry, we got this wrong. The update comes out on a Tuesday, not a Wednesday. Sorry, my bad. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this DLC and a new update that comes out next week. And also, I was very, very excited to see this cutscene of Topo for the Vegeta, cause, cause I, was, I was predicting, I was hoping they'll do the, the scene from on the anime, Bomber, Trunks, Bola. And um, whatever he said after that, I was hoping for that type of scene. That's this scene right here, I was hoping for this scene right here. But um, they, I keep getting into the Xenoverse, they gotta switch it up and, and of course, Bola is not a model in this game, so you know she can't really be in it. So they, you know, and for since it's a Xenoverse, they yeah, have to switch it up a bit. You know, I still like it. I can't wait for. It. I can't wait. I can't wait. Ah! Oh, man, I'm, I'm screaming across the little girl. I love, I love that scene so much. 
And also, and you know me, for the longest I've been saying, the pre Kaya time isn't a, a, a DLC. Isn't a DLC 11. And people always want to argue with me talking about this. YouTuber said it. Technically, an update is a DLC. What the f uh, technically, an up uh, update is a DLC. What the fuck are you talking about? Technically, we have to download the DLC. I mean, update, so it's DLC. It's downloadable content. No, what the fuck is not? You sound stupid. No, stop. And. <clears throat> And the, and they never said that this DLC was Supreme. Con I mean, they never said Supreme Con time was DLC. The legit said it's an update. <laughs> it says it's a thank you update, not DLC eleven. So stop it, stop it. It's also in the update side of um of the of the uh, website. So why you can call it DLC eleven? And finally, they they they, they don't have, even have the minute. It's kind of obvious that this DLC is, a, is is DLC eleven. So you know, I had to tweet out that <laughs> that that um about this about D Supreme Con time is a DLC eleven. And of course, stop believing what YouTubers say. They're not right all the time. And I've never been wrong since. And also, they said that we are getting Legendary, Legendary Pack 12, 2, which is DLC 12, coming out this fall, 2021. So we're expecting like maybe two more characters, probably, hopefully three or four. I'm gonna stop. Four. We didn't, get, we didn't get four characters since like what? DLC, DLC 4? <laughs> yeah, as of right now, that's all we got for DLC 11 and it's updated as soon to come. This is the 11, up, 11 DLC in the 10th update. This soon to come Dragon Ball Z Universe 2. And uh, I don't know if we're getting, we're probably not getting the more stuff information about this new update. So there's probably will be no more, n no new um customization partner so sadly no gogeta customization super same for gogeta customization no new no more no more with cheap not even cheap what they call the cc mascots just that one and we're probably maybe more in the loading screens because it was a lot of loading screens they didn't show us last time the thank you update but uh maybe probably probably the only ones we get so i think it's really about it it's me and boy deepest clips and hopefully i'll see you uh, next time Wait, I also forgot to mention that we're getting a new little feature called what's it called? Hero Vote. Is it called Hero Vote? And it's, and it's when um it basically it's been where we could um vote for the next next DLC characters. We're probably gonna be two characters again. And for this vote, they have they have they have Ultra Ultra to Goku, Ultra to Almond Goku, the black hair version, the incomplete version. What do you wanna fuck them to call this call on this this form? Ultra to Goku. Another Ultra to Goku. Then we have Bergamo, the Wolf Dude, and we have Dispo. And we also have GT Vegeta, and also the Adele did a few polls, and of course, Ultra for some reason, Ultra Dragon Ball fans, I swear. Drag, of course, Ultra Instinct Goku was winning, and I also did like another poll without Ultra Instinct Goku, and I think I think I think Ultra Instinct Goku then is this poll, then I then I did those two automatically just wins the poll. So I put then on um, we then we found out later that GT Vegeta was winning as well, and a lot of people was not voting for Bagarmo, 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 what his name is, the Wolf Dude. The leader of the Wolf Trio, the Danger, and I had did another, another poll with, with GT Vegeta and him, and apparently people would rather have GT Vegeta than um the Wolf Dude, even though I'm, I, I'm with having new characters around, but the thing is we have less less GT characters and a lot of more more Dragon Ball Super characters. So I'm I could be kind of biased with this, but I probably would rather have GT Vegeta than um than the Trio Danger Wolf Dude. But the trio danger, trio danger should be their own own pack. I, I'm just, I'm just saying. But yeah, that's really about it. It's me and Boy DBS Clips, and hopefully I'll see you uh, next time. Is that